20 years old, female, unmarried, presented with uh, weight loss for the last three weeks. What we see here is, this is the gallbladder, the liver, and the portal vein. The portal vein is approximately 15 mm and uh, is dilated. And here we see that this is the portal vein. It shows normal flow. And you can see that the uh, flow velocity within the uh, portal vein is uh, significantly raised. Moreover, there is mixing of blood in the portal vein. This uh, image is uh, clearly indicative this one that there is mixing of blood suggestive of fibrosis uh, now we see the liver which is when we see the liver the liver shows fatty changes only and uh, the rest of the liver is normal the kidney is okay nothing is wrong with the kidney right as well as left both this is the spleen, normal, left kidney, unremarkable. Now what the issue is that she has a large inhomogeneous mass that starts from the epigastric region. Now this is the epigastric region and you see there is a mass which is highly vascular. A highly vascular mass with both uh, arterial as well as uh, venous uh, blood supply and it extends from the epigastric, uh, left side of the epigastric region up to the uh, left hypochondrium or left upper abdominal quadrant uh, in the region of the portalicatus. Uh, here we see a bunch of uh, lymph nodes. These are all lymph nodes. These are all nodes. And uh, here starts the mass. Now it's a para-aortic mass. This is the aorta in front of you. And you will see this is the See, this is the uh, this is the aorta. Rest all of this is the mass. It's a para-aortic mass. See the configure. This, uh, this is the mass that is extending downwards, involving all of the uh, left side of the abdomen. See the vascularity of the mass, and uh, here when I come down, the mass is still there. And these are the this is the uh, left iliac vessels. These are the left iliac vessels. It engulfs the iliac vessels, and uh, when I go towards the pelvis. Here we see that there is a cytic fluid. This is fluid. This is fluid with echoes within it. This is the uh, ovary from the right side. This is the uterus in transverse section. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. There is no pelvic pathology uh, as a cause of uh, the findings we have seen so far. These are the bowels in the dependent region, right side. This is the fluid. A psychic fluid, malignant fluid rather, and the fluid is also seen in the. Uh, this is the right paracolic ducket, and this is the small amount of fluid seen. This is the small amount of fluid. This is the ileocecal, ileosos uh, muscle, left side, bowels, and. Uh, Better sense, no? Local? 
So as such, the pancreas is also pushed upwards, but is normal. And this is the now this is the midline. I am giving a sweep to the probe and longitudinal section from the epigastric region down up to the uh, up, up to the uh, pelvic cavity. See it again from pelvic cavity in the midline straight upwards up to the epigastric region, moving the probe towards the left side, uh, uh, right side of the patient, does show uh, the curve of the IVC, and the IVC appears to be patent. We are studying a large left-sided uh, complex cystic and salt mass extending from the epigastric region to the uh, left upper quadrant and from the left upper quadrant down up to, up to, up to, uh, up to lower abdominal quadrant. It is highly vascular. With the dinopathy, with portal vein dilated and uh, in early phase of thrombosis thrombosis because of this large mass, this periodic mass. This is a large mass. <coughs> So either sarcoma or lymphoma uh, or sarcoma. left-sided paravertebral extending towards the right side as well. This is the aorta. This area is the aorta in LS, longitudinal section, and this is the mass. Thank you very much.